Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mystics of Texas. Today we are just blessed to have just some fantastic people with us. The room is packed, which you can't see. And we have Gil with us. Of course, we have Mr. Trey Schmidt and we have his lovely wife. And from our after video experience last week, we started talking with Trey's wife, Ashley, because of her natural healing ability. She has a spa in Jefferson, Texas, and she does incredible work. And I'm a big fan of her work, even if I wasn't so close and intimately involved with her um, in every sort of aspect in life that I just love and adore her. And she has this natural ability to bring out an inner calm in people. People like to be around her. People like to go to her spa because it actually, her energy is so peaceful and so healing. She has chosen the right profession for herself, which many of us can't say that we have. We explore life and go through life and can't figure out what we want to do. And she just naturally went into the path that was perfectly fitting for her energy. And she is just incredible. And Gil really pointed that out last week and was um, questioning and probing her and, and, and really bringing, bubbling up to the table, uh, her inner table, this, uh, this energy that she knows that she's always had and that she is bringing out. And it's really been uh, fascinating to, to visit with all of these people. And I think you'll find something interesting about this conversation because it's about finding the inner peace, the inner, uh, the inner energy and how to funnel that into such a way in your natural life that you're able to benefit the most people, including yourself. Mr. Schmidt, how are you today? Man, I am extraordinarily awesome today. I mean, we're surrounded by all these people and the vibe is so good. Y'all didn't see it before we got on camera. We had a little inner meditation where we zoned in and got the energy flowing right in the room. And uh, without any further ado, Ashley, why don't you just take it away and tell me what you got? Yeah, Ashley, I think uh, what we should do is just introduce yourself. Well, my name is Ashley, and I own a lay day spa in Jefferson. Um, I didn't get into massage because I was called to massage. I was just called to... Um, something higher in life something got me into massage I don't know what it is but I did massage I didn't know it was uh, my special spot um, and as I've done it and as I've experienced the things you go through and like connecting with people in those ways um, I have found a true um, home and spot for my soul in my spa and helping people and um, creating peace inside of every single person that comes inside um, I think that's great. I, I think Gil, uh, Gil, whenever we first got together for a group session last Sunday, you pointed out some natural observances because uh, you're really good at that with everybody, uh, whether you're looking and visiting with Trey or, or any of us. You're, you're just really in tune to people's energies and spirits. And you made some comments and said some observances of Ashley uh, about her natural healing ability that I just thought was so great. Uh, if you wouldn't mind sharing your first impressions of Ashley after that first meeting and, and how that energy was so positive. It was uh, uh, very clear from, um, from Ashley's demeanor and presence and the way uh, that Ashley communicates and expresses herself that she has a natural tendencies uh, of being a, a a natural organic uh, self-chosen healer and um, this is of great importance right now in our world since humanity is in fact in a process of healing and um, there is a great need for natural and organic healers um, uh, that allow that to emerge from the depth of their heart in a in a in a genuine and authentic way and I feel that Ashley has all of that um, very naturally and so 
uh, I encourage that and I always support that and I always nurture that to the best of my ability um, um, and I feel that Ashley can can accomplish uh, a t tremendous um, work here as, as, as a healer whatever whatever you because you've done a lot of healing practices on, on your own and, and energy practices would there be any advice on how to uh, help her along in her process of healing people uh, my first advice of course will be to look at the insecurities and to look at the inadequacies that are coming naturally from the program from the program of the ego mind uh, and to uh, use the deeper heart energetics to transmit um, the natural medicine into those judgments so that uh, Ashley can come to a place within herself that she's anchored in self-confidence uh, um, as a healer and allow herself uh, to come forth as such, um, eliminating and uh, cleansing those dark clouds that we all have. This is really a central piece of the puzzle to, that we're putting together. And when she will hand by hand with allowing herself to uh, come forth as a healer, do that inner work within herself uh, and clear those judgments and insecurities, um, there is nothing that will stop her from from becoming exactly what she was meant to to become here i think you really touched on something powerful uh for today's discussion and that is insecurities i think that the insecurities that have at different times in everybody's life we have tremendous amount of insecurities uh, you know some of us in this room don't want to be on camera uh, ashley did not want to be on camera she was very fearful and insecure about that. She didn't like the idea that we were going to focus on her natural beauty and healing power that she is, uh, exudes to everyone she comes in contact with. It's it, Sometimes our own insecurities prevent us from finding our true self, and they prevent us from reaching new levels of progress within our life because we, we are arbitrarily keeping ourselves down with the uh, higher anxiety or what somebody may think of us or whatever insecurities that we may have instead of just doing it and uh, I think that is uh, true for a lot of people it's been true for I think everyone here at one particular time or another I think one of the things is especially with Ashley because you know I live with her so we talk about things like this all the time it's not that she has any of the insecurities of doing the actions. I think some of it is putting what she does into words because of a lot of the healing process of being hands-on when you're actually in a room with someone and they've dedicated an entire hour or two hours of their time to take in that healing act and practice. To put those things into words is something that's very difficult because language is so limited. Yeah, language is extraordinarily limited. and. You know, you're right that she has uh, something that I admire, which I think all of us watching this and being involved in this can learn from is, and I'll take us back to one of the most eye-opening experiences that we've ever done, is whenever we all jumped out of an airplane, me and you were absolutely terrified, terrified. Ashley, I think, was more scared than everyone. And Ashley is the first one. I mean, the, the first one to go. She doesn't hesitate. She just gets up and goes. That was really scary. <laughs> <laughs> I was really scared. Yeah. I mean, it's even scary looking back on it, thinking about how crazy that was to see Ashley, who I love so much, just all of a sudden she was gone. And when it's my turn, I'm looking out of the plane. I can't even see her. I'm like, I can't see anybody. Uh, but that was a big deal. Uh, one of those stepping stones, I think, in life where you just overcome your fear, you overcome your insecurities, and you just do it. Just let it go, let it flow. And I feel that every time I've gone to Ashley's spa, she has, she makes um, just what, like we all should do in life. She has a direct intent before she starts her practice with anybody, which I think is important for all of us. Anytime we come together, anytime we see each other, I think. It is very important to have the intent of goodwill, to have the intent of love in our hearts, to have the intent that 
Uh, if someone wronged us, then we forgive them when we see them. Uh, we don't, we, we let things go, let it melt away. And Ashley is really, really good at that. Um, and it's something that, that she has passed on to me by helping me be a little easier because sometimes, you know, we can find different aspects of our own personality like me. Sometimes I'm just, a, I'm just a little aggressive and it actually helps me not be so aggressive. And Jill does a great job of that because when Jill's around me, I, I feel really at, at peace and harmony and love with the world. And I think like Gil is another example of that. Gil has such a, uh, a powerful intent. Every time I see him, it's always, uh, you know, love and blessings, brother, and we hug, and it's uh, very valuable in creating that relationship that she extends in her practice because she is, I'm intent on making you calm. I'm intent on making you feel better. I want you to leave here and feel some type of illumination and, and relief of whatever stress that you had for the moment. I think that's uh, 100% true. Whenever, Because whenever you go to a spa, whenever you go to get a massage, when you make a massage appointment, every person's intention is, I'm going to feel better when I leave here. Um, and that's a powerful spot to hold that you want to feel like a different person. You want to feel better walking out than walking in. Like when you, when you schedule a massage, when you schedule an appointment to go to a spa, it's not like going to a grocery store. It's not like, like your intentions are to feel better. Um, whether that's physically or emotionally, um, people book a, book a spa appointment for a lot of different reasons, whether you hurt your back um, or you have high anxiety and um, you do it for like stress relief. But as a massage therapist, you are in charge of making somebody feel better when they leave. Um, and the more you do it, the more I've done it, the better I've got. Like you you learn what people are needing and how to give it to them. And um, outside of making their back feel better or relieving their anxiety or solving whatever problem is that they have, just creating like a peaceful spot to ha to allow somebody to let go of whatever it is that they need to let go of during the massage is a huge ordeal. Um, and and that's my intentions with every single person is every person is looking for something different in their massage and um whether it's making their back feel better they're they're doing so much more than making their back feel better um, well I, th th I think gil can attest to this whenever you are laying your hands on someone and you are touching them that is a, an actual force of your own energy going into them scientifically um not something we're making up or we feel or that I've learned or that I've discovered. Scientifically, touch is like, I don't want to say powerful, but it's magical. Yes. Um, touch truly transforms what's happening inside of you. Uh, it, it instantly calms you. It calms your brains. It releases your endorphins and your, like, happy energy. And, like, you truly just get a good feeling from touch. Whether I touch you or, like, whenever you leave a massage, like, it changes how you feel scientifically to be touched by someone whether it's massage or a hug or a greeting or meeting somebody um and to and like during a massage like as a massage therapist i've learned different ways and and things to create the right environment that i feel is correct to have people truly relax and like let go and not be worried about whether they come in for their back hurting or anxiety but to just forget about why they came Did you, um, is that easy for you because it seems like a <coughs> lot uh, it seems like everywhere we go in life people are holding on to something because i know when i whenever i would go to either your spa or if i'm out of town somewhere going to a spa i mean i'm wanting to relax and and forget about the day i am like recharging the batteries you know, I, I want uh, all the stress to be needed out. And like you said, when you they leave, they want to feel better. So, you you know, I feel like I'm, I go to those things are in order to get recharged, in order to feel afresh and anew to go tackle the day or whatever it is that I, I want to tackle. And 
You know, that's one thing that I think that we all see in people that have got massages of how we react when we want to get on a table and go to someone to have that healing process. But Ashley, could you, would you do us a favor and explain to us what goes on on your side of it when somebody's having a hard time relaxing and you're trying to get them to let go and release and just, you know, really put their energy in your hands and you work on them? Um, like you guys recognize whenever you go to get a massage that you want to let go of some stress. Not everybody recognizes that. Um, they're not aware that they need to get rid of some stress. They just know they don't feel good and they just know they like, they need to feel better. They're not aware that, oh, I need to like get out of the zone or I need to calm down or I need to relax. I need to let go of this energy or they're not aware of that. Um, so to become in tune with somebody's stress level is pretty important. Um, and people ask me, well, how do you do that? Well, what do you say? Well, how do you, well, you don't say anything. Um, it's just an environment that you create and a space that you make somebody feel comfortable. And um, during a massage, my entire goal is whether you're coming in for pain relief or, or like mental relief, I just want you to truly let go and forget about anything exists that exists outside of that massage room. Don't you, um, don't you think that uh, that attitude is not only important to go get a massage, but also that attitude is, is vital in so many other aspects of your life. And what you do is a compliment to that. Like if, in your meditative practices, you want to you want to do the same sort of thing. You want to let go. You at least I do sometimes when I meditate. Sometimes I want to download. Sometimes I want to let go. Sometimes uh, right. So in, intentionally, you want somebody to do nothing, um, and to get somebody to relax. A lot of people have problems with meditation. They have like, oh, I can't do that, or oh, I can't shut my mind off. And so to have, not the power, but to have like the knowledge to know how to get somebody to shut off their mind without them even understanding that they're shutting off their mind is like truly a magical practice. So during a massage, everyone's here has probably gotten a massage, but you lay on the table and you're like, you're thinking about life and you're thinking about what you have to do when you get done or your kids after school practice or work or, and then just as you hopefully are able to relax, you slowly start to forget about those things. You're not thinking about practice. You're not thinking about what you're going to cook for dinner. Um, and to help somebody understand that, yes, you can do nothing. You can do nothing. You can think of nothing. You can truly just let be to be. To be. And to show somebody that is a really big deal. Um, and I don't do that with words. I don't do that with like, I don't say, okay, during this massage, I don't want you to think about work. I don't want you to, like, I don't say any of those things. It's just like the environment that I've created, the ways that I've learned to help somebody's body relax, which in turn helps their mind relax. And when they get up and they're leaving, they're like, oh, like, I didn't realize I could do that. Like, that feels good. Like, I wasn't thinking about my kids. I wasn't thinking about work. I wasn't thinking about dinner. I wasn't. And so then now they're aware that they can do that. They're aware that they can let go of everything in life. And they're aware of like the magic that that creates inside of them, which I hope they continue to like live inside of their daily life. And I hope that they remember that how important doing nothing and thinking of nothing is and how magical it is in like your day to day life. But yeah, it I, truly is like being put in a meditative state because absolutely. when we leave for that hour and a half, after we leave that hour and a half, we're like, how in the hell was this only a 10 minute massage? I yeah. mean, it felt like a 10 minute massage, even though it was there an hour and a half. And you, you stop <clears throat> thinking about life. Or time. Right. You like, you don't, you get into a state that you're not thinking about what you're going to cook for dinner or that you have to go to work tomorrow or. She probably wasn't thinking about cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Like, um, and so to show somebody, 
people that are like interested in meditation or people that are interested or like know that they're overwhelmed and they know that they need some kind of like peaceful relief somehow and they can't find it massage is like people need help finding that spot so do you think people, you're a stepping stone like getting a massage I, yeah. is a stepping stone to reaching other levels of understanding yourself yeah i do um people have a hard time recognizing people don't know how to relax they don't know how to they don't make time for themselves they don't make time just to to not do life um so whenever they're put in a room that all they can do is lay there they have to like they can't get on their phone they can't check their messages they can't they might as well not worry about who's texting them because like you're not going to check your phone and so that's a that's a huge stepping stone stone to make somebody realize like you can tap out go without like, the phone for like you can tap out and and when you choose to tap out like it's really like magical and powerful or whatever however you want to call it when you choose to tap out um this just works. like you say like you feel better when you leave and like it, I've said this to a lot of people, which sounds really weird, but as a massage therapist, it can be truly relaxing in the same kind of power that you get in tapping out. I also get to tap out because I can't check my phone. True. I can't, I can't worry about what I'm going to cook for dinner. I can't worry if somebody's calling me or texting me because I can't check it. So I actually get to tap out with you. It's, it's a very inner learning experience for you every day you go to work because you're really self-meditating and putting your energy in and around those each one of the people that you you uh help right and so as much as in the importance that i see in tapping out my goal is for you to also see the importance of tapping out right and so i want to get your body to relax because when you first lay down, if you've had 10 massages or 100, when you first lay down, it's hard to tap out. Like, you naturally um, think about all the things you have to do today or whatever. And so... And we keep in mind, she's not talking about martial arts tapping out. Totally no. different type of tapping <laughs> out. <laughs> totally different. Uh, no, not martial arts tapping no. out. Um, that is fantastic. Gil, uh, I, I think... Uh, you are very similar in what you do in your practice of your personal sessions and I think what y'all do is very uh, similar in helping people reach new levels of peace and, and I, I admire how and what y'all do because if the world was full of more Gills and Ashleys then this place would be a true heaven on earth it would be great you know people that don't know they're uptight uh, would discover it people that uh, have a problem looking inward would be able to they would blossom open and there would be a lot more peace no more war and we would have a lot of loving uh, fantastic hugs from the best huggers in the world, which are, you know, in this room. <laughs> yes, I agree. And, and surely and inevitably, this is where we're going because this is where we're coming from. See, our origin is our destiny because we're destined to meet our origin again because that is the eternal and the immortal in each and every one of us. That is the living truth in each and every one of us. And, uh, it can be shut down and it can be uh, ignored for a while, but not forever. So humanity is surely moving in that direction. Yeah, I think there is a large awakening with people that are coming to the realization, I don't need these other um, things. I don't need other dogmatic books. So what, I, what I need is what is true, what resonates with me, what is what is it that I find to be true? Like, I find it true that I lose time 
when I'm either meditating or talking with you or if I'm getting a massage with Ashley. Well, there's something really unique in what they do that you can't get from a dogmatic text is you're having a genuine human connection with somebody. The something that you have taken the time and energy to put forth, whether you're doing a guided meditation with Gil or you're doing another form of meditation with Ashley when you go to a spa and you're having that interaction that you have set aside, that you're saying that I'm committed to this action and committed to this relationship where a lot of people don't have that. And you're definitely not going to get that from any textbook. It's something that you can only have with another human being. And it's something that's really special because you've made it special. No matter if you've done, like Asha said, one or a hundred massages or a thousand, you know the more you do it, the more important it is and the more you enjoy that act and that practice. And I think you touched on something uh, even at the same level of that is just the art of simple conversation. Like all of the countless hours that you and I have spent and alone, just me and you, talking about all of the different subjects and aspects of ourselves that we would like to improve upon and just that interaction is very similar, I think, to uh, Gil's sessions or Ashley's uh, going to the, her spa. It's a, a, a boisterous massaging of the inner self and letting it bubble out in a safe place, knowing that I'm not judging you, you're not judging me. We're communicating in a articulate way to try to express what is going on inside of ourselves so we can uh, figure out how to put water on what we want to grow and how to pluck out what we don't out of our internal garden. Uh, and that is what we do here. We, we are exploring all of these different ways to become better people, and all of these are, are little pieces uh, of that. And I just think, Ashley, that she found what it is that she does because she just makes... Uh, life uh, infinitely better and makes my brother much more tolerable <laughs> and it's just it's just fantastic so uh with that is there anything else anybody like to add no all right perfect i think we covered it all everybody uh, thank y'all very much for joining us of course you can find us on rumble odyssey bit shoot and we are gonna have gil with us for Hopefully as long as he would like and he's going to be on a lot of different videos shortly and uh, we're just so excited to have him and his insight into all of it. So thank you for joining us. Please go see us at Mystics of Texas. Mr. Schmidt, sign us out. All right. Thank everybody for watching and have a good day.